Okay, in this video I'm going to start exercise number 1e of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics and I'm going to start with question 1. Uh, once again, now I don't do these 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 uh, these questions in advance, I just do them in front of you, so if I have a mistake, well, then I'll have to sort it out in front of you. Now, once again, uh, please subscribe to my channel, or my, uh, my channel, pass your videos on to your friends, and put comments at the bottom if you want to, if you want extra help, put the comments there as well. So, question 1 has the following diagram. It's got your x dimension, your y dimension, giving you x, y plane, uh, or your Cartesian plane. It's got a, an i hat. I'm going to actually start drawing hats at this stage. Okay, it's got a j hat, like that. And you're given the vector b here, magnitude 26, that's 2, that's a b, and that's the vector b given the, the, the angle alpha, given the vector a, and it's got a magnitude of 10. So, well, I, without, even start, without even reading the question, it's going to start, um, actually just do the basics, and then we'll see what we can get. Well, look at 10. So I look at the vector a. What dimension is in? It is in the x dimension, therefore it is only in the i hat direction, therefore it needs no j component, and the vector a is equal to 10 times i hat. Okay, it's 10, 10 unit vectors, whereas a unit, a unit vector is a vector of magnitude 1. All right, you should see that. You should have seen that plenty of times at this stage. So 10 i hat. Let's draw it slightly smaller and over in the corner, so you don't need to be able to see this. Right, what about the vector b? Up here, we resolve this one into its component unit vectors. Drop your perpendiculars. To be honest, you should notice straight as 26 times the sine of theta this one here and it's going in that direction and 26 times the cosine of theta going in that direction so therefore B is equal to uh, remember again your quadrants you have plus plus minus plus minus minus and plus minus like that so I'm going pretty quickly because to be honest this is towards the end of the chapter and nothing has changed we've done these plenty of times so it's negative 26 cosine of theta uh, it is positive 26, the sine of theta, and this is i hat, and this is j hat. Now you can't see that. Uh, let's, let's move the camera a small bit, maybe like that. Look, it's nothing new. I just uh, my presentation is reasonably poor. I accept that. So you're given that uh, find. You're asked to find tan alpha if a plus b no i hat component. Right, you're given that. So what you have to do? Well, you have to add a plus b. Now, look, I'm going to do this quite quickly. So we have a plus b is equal to uh, a plus b is equal to ten minus twenty six cos theta i hat plus twenty six sine theta j hat like that. It's got no i hat. Uh, it's got no i hat component with a j hat. Yeah, no i hat component. This therefore is equal to zero. So therefore, ten minus twenty six cos theta is equal to zero. Twenty six cos theta is equal to ten. Cosine theta is equal to uh, oh, that's ten. Not zero. Ten over twenty six. Therefore, theta is equal to what? Well, it's equal to the inverse cosine of 10 over 26. Or you could write that. Okay, just give me a moment. Let me plug that into my calculator. Inverse cosine 10 over 26. Shift cos 10 divided by 26. Close the brackets. Gives an angle of theta is equal to, well say not equal to, I'm going to say it's approximately 67 degrees. So let's check that at the back of the book again. It just says 12 over 5. What have I done wrong here? Exercise 1e. Find tan alpha, or find tan alpha. Okay, so that's that's the angle of uh, theta. Just to see if we're, if we're correct. It says that the angle is, uh, in the book it says that the angle is supposed to be 
10 half is we'll see 12 over 5. So let's just have a look. Uh, inverse 10, 12 divided by 5, and we get 67.38. So that's correct. So, well, you might be wondering, how does that marry up with what we've, what we've done? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, we had, was it 12 over 5, wasn't it? No, it was 10 over 20, 10 over 26. So we had, right, that cos theta is equal to 10 over 26, right? So look, this is just pretty basic trigonometry, which, you, which we've done a good bit already, of which we've done a good bit already. So there's your theta. Sakatoa Cos cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So look at the adjacent uh, thing is here. There's the hypotenuse. So we'll use a bit of uh, we'll use a bit of Pythagoras. So you have we'll say 26 squared, 10 squared plus with this here we're going to call the adjacent. So I'm just going to plug it in into my calculator again. So 26 squared minus 100 is equal to that. Square root of my answer gives me 24. Uh, 24 and it should be 12. Why am I getting what have I done here? Everything, oh yeah, everything's doubled, yeah, and that's correct, okay, because we have uh, we have the following 24. Now, if you look at this, you'll, you'll get the same angle provided that 10 over 24 is the same, 26 over 10, and all these all provided all, all those are the same, so. If you divide all those by two, you're going to get uh, you're going to get the following triangle here. Theta, you're going to get five, twelve, and thirteen, and the ratio is the exact same. We'll say five over twelve. Five over twelve is the same as ten over twenty-four. Um, five over thirteen is equal to ten over twenty-six. So the ratio is the exact same, and. Uh, find the magnitude of A plus B next. So let's find the magnitude of A plus B. And the magnitude of A plus B. What do we have? I think we had a 26, uh, a 10, and a 24. Was that it? I think that's what we had. We probably should have kept that. So we had 12 over 5. 24 over 10 for a 10. 24 over 10. Yeah, that's what we had. And we're asked to find the magnitude of the vector a plus b. So we know that uh, we know that we know that a plus b is up there. You can just about see it. It's uh, ten minus twenty six cos theta. We know that theta is approximately sixty seven degrees. So let's just do a small bit of a, a small bit of work on our calculator. Here we go. Well, this is zero actually, by the way. We know this is equal to zero, so therefore a plus b is equal to zero i hat plus 26 times the sine of 67 degrees j hat. All right, plug that into our calculator. 26 times the sine of 67 is equal to 23, approximately 24, right? So that's approximately 24. Uh, that's approximately 24, so that's the magnitude of A plus B. Look in the back of the book, and that's correct. Okay, so that's, that's doing it very quickly, of course. Uh, this is nothing new, I hope. If it is new to you, well then look at my videos, my previous videos. Please subscribe, pass it on to your friends, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.